When you stop by the drugstore to pick up a prescription, you most likely pull out your insurance card first. But what if you found out that wasn't the best way to save? Kevin Day is a pharmacist who hates seeing patients overpaying simply because their insurance company set a high price. As a pharmacist, we're beholden to those contracts to charge the patient what the insurance company tells us to charge. But that doesn't mean it's a good deal. Kevin says talk to your pharmacist to see if paying directly might be a better deal. Patients are getting charged more, told to pay more by their insurance company than they might be able to pay if they just pay directly. We have had instances where patients find out that all of a sudden their regular medicine that, that, that they're using for their chronic conditions is hundreds of dollars a month. Dr. Varun Vaidya, a pharmaceutical professor with the University of Toledo, led a study that found Americans could have saved billions of dollars by taking some extra steps. Put that name of those medications, put it in this website like GoodRx and do just that comparison shopping, just like how we do it for like buying a plane ticket. The study found Amazon Prime's discounts would have saved $969 million for patients compared to $1.8 billion through GoodRx. We just try to make it easy. You know, healthcare shouldn't be this hard. Doug Hirsch co-founded GoodRx after a frustrating experience filling a prescription. I walked into the pharmacy, they did that thing with the computer, and they said $500, and no one had warned me. To avoid a situation like that, type the name of your medicine into GoodRx. It will find the cheapest options closest to you. You can also check Amazon Prime's online pharmacy to see if buying online could save you time and money. Finally, get to know your local pharmacist. Kevin Day says he's happy to recommend alternate medications to help you save. Uh, Simbacort cost me um, almost $500. Um, this generic cost me about 200 or so. So you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.